Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a quick little video here about uh, how easy it is to program these N64 blasters. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, sorry for the shaky video, I am recording this on a phone. So, um, so this is the N64 blaster right here. Currently I don't have any EEPROM in there. Um, that does come shipped with though. It does come with the battery and of course the uh, SRAM right there. There's your NTSC PAL switch if you're in the European region. This switch of course would be up. So without further ado, right now I think this game has got Mario 64 running on it. Let's see here. So, what I want to do is I want to put this into the Retro Blaster Programmer. So, if you look at the front here, it says to Programmer. On there, it says Chip's Face this way. So, we're going to put it in just like so. Alright, and then we're going to go over to the computer side. Now the game I want to write to it is Gauntlet Legends. So I've pulled up the spreadsheet that you have for download here. I'm going to just scroll down to Gauntlet Legends just to find out what CIC type it is. So it's a 6102. 6102 is the one I've already got on the board because that is what Mario 64 uses. Its save type is controller pack so I don't need to worry about the EEPROM. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right, so the programmer's plugged in. Uh, only thing you have to do, and you kind of just need to remember it the first time, go over to your device manager, go to ports, and just look what COM port the uh, Teensy USB serial shows up as, because that's what the COM port the programmer's going to use. And when you follow the instructions in the download, you'll see that you're supposed to come and prep your ROM. So in here, in Tool64, uh, which is a program that you can download from the site there. Um, we're going to look and click on Gauntlet Legends. Just make sure it's in the big Indian format. If it's in byte swapped or little Indian, it will not work when you program it. So just make sure it's on big Indian. Okay, so Gauntlet Legends is good. So we're going to go ahead and close that. So coming over to the programmer here. We know what COM port we need, which is COM3. So it's in the, the boards in the programmer. We're going to click initialize. So when we do that, see that blue light just came on? On the programmer side, you can see it says what brand of flash is on there and the size of the, the chip. So it's a 32 megabyte chip. So we're going to erase it first because we need to get Mario 64 off of there. So we're going to click the erase button. This part takes about, I don't know, usually about a minute for uh, 32 megabyte boards. So I'm going to just pause the video here for a minute. We'll come back. All right. So the erase finished. Took a minute and seven seconds. So now that that's done, we know that the chip on the board is blank. So we'll go up here to write and we'll select our ROM. So I want to write Gauntlet Legends. So I'm going to pick that one. And it is a, uh, a 16 megabyte game, so it should take about four minutes. So I'm going to click open on that, and it's going to start writing. So when you look at the board, as long as it's writing, you're going to see that LED there flash. And on the program side, this little indicator here will continue to circle until the program is done. So we'll give it a few minutes here and then we'll come back to the video. All right, programming is just about done here. It's just uh, doing a verify right now on the board. You can see the light isn't flashing anymore. It's just a solid, oh, went off. And you can see our message here says success. So the game should be programmed properly. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so there we go. So now we're going to place this in the system, fire it up, and we've got Gauntlet Legends. So again, that was just to show kind of how quickly you can program it, uh, how easy it is to put a different game on, and um, 
yeah, and searching up different CICs in the spreadsheet and everything. So it's uh, pretty easy to use. So thanks for watching.